Today, we are going to watch every single story teaser trailer available on the Genshin Impact YouTube channel playlist. I've done some research and it looks like this time I can watch it in order. Unfortunately, the last time I tried to watch the videos in order, it didn't allow me to sort it from oldest to newest. So I think we're going to have better luck this time. Divine Damsel of Devastation. When the game switched to this moment, I was completely caught off guard. I had no idea that we were going to get to witness this beautiful scene. It was the first time that I had ever seen Chinese opera before. And whoever the opera singer is, has a beautiful voice. I want to pay more attention to the story this time. Like her cold steel was death averted. Oh man! Oh, I got goosebumps! The music just picked up! Oh my gosh. Wow. How is it that even though I've heard this, it still makes me feel so incredible? Wow. Shenha's story is so sad. Oh my gosh, again! I got goosebumps again! The power of music! The power of this opera singer's voice! I feel like I have to show you all this moment that I experienced in the game. <laughs> For Shenha to finally find a home, just like Ganyu makes me so happy. I just, I hope that this video doesn't get DMCA, but it was absolutely incredible. Love that trailer. Flavors of the world. Macho Sis, god of the stove, born from a spark when stone struck stone. What? He was a god with a great love for humanity Wait. and their well -being. I know this bear. Is this Yangling's bear? Millennia ago, the people sought to expand their city. They built a dwelling on the plains and called it the Gwaili Assembly. The Gwaili Assembly? The god cared greatly for the people, turning himself into minions who went into every home, fostering food and solidarity alike. What? Alas, their home was taken by a flood. The waters ravaged the Gwaili Assembly and forced Whoa. the people back south to Liyue Harbor. Wow. Though the distance was not far, the journey was plagued by a terrible storm. For a dozen days, the Adepti stayed by their side. During this time, the stove god cooked an ancient delicacy. What? Flatbread with a meat sauce to stave off the cold and damp. Fit for the <laughs> I can't take this moon. seriously. Look at all the bears. <laughs> Centuries later, disaster and plague arose once more. What? The stove god would appear no longer, for he placed all of his power into the land itself to quell the calamities. His power expended and his wits Yo, this is really reduced. about a bear. Thus his body decreased in size. By the time he parted ways with us, he wasn't even the height of a human. What? He told Rex Lapis and I of the dishes that bring joy and of the secrets of the flame, then went into the mountains and entered into a long slumber. Aww. 
He's so cute. The stove god departed and Guoba was born. When he awoke, he ate the chili men's cornbread buns placed on the offering mm. table by a young lady in yellow. Though he did wow. not remember the past, he was profoundly oh moved my God, you and decided see her? to follow this young lady thereafter. So that's the how they meet. The stove god had quietly disappeared, but the vendors rose early to hawk their wares. People went out to buy goods, lit their stoves, and cooked food, just as they had done every day for as long as they could remember. Wow. <laughs> anyway, things have always been this way. I love Leeway so much, by the way. I feel like that's my home in the game. Nature provides, the mountains rejoice. Is that Chow? blessed by heaven's good grace. Years have gone by. Who is that? The world has transformed, but our way of life survives. I recognize Ganyu and Yenfei. Is that Xing Chow? And Hu Tao? Is that Chung Yun? And Chi Chi? And Beidou? And I just Fame love this art style. Is only Ming a Wong. season. It is the moment that we should embrace. I love the music. Yunjin, Kaching, Paimon, and the Traveler, Past and Changling. Past present. Heritage becomes legacy. <laughs> Long this is great. into the future, may we thrive. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I didn't know the story was actually about the bear and how the bear or the stove god met Changling. When lightning flashes, Brightens. it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. It means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. Oh, oh my gosh. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. What? In the end, I even lost her. Oh no. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. Who said that? But I've seen the nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. The heavenly principles? Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. No. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. Wow, wow. I'm still trying to process writing story. If you know it more, please let me know. Fleeting colors in flight, event, cutscene, animation, age of flowing hues. That is quite a title. I always get excited when I see Li Wei. <laughs> I have goosebumps already. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at all the lanterns. <gasps> The Traveler and Kuching! Lady Kuching, the item Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. What item? Traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Must be something important. <laughs> wow. Was this the first lantern right? Yinger. Oh, 
Traveler. I love the music. Ningguang had her personal tailor make it for me. Said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Uh. <clears throat> wow. It's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's All I can night. say is wow. <laughs> Fireworks show. <laughs> wow. This is so cool. All the music. Ningguang! She has a different outfit too! Hey, check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. <laughs> Seems I've struck gold with this one. This is so cool! Shenha! And Yenfei, gone you. Oh, stove god and Chingling, Chong Yun, Xing Zhou. <laughs> Zongli and Hu Tao. Did you see that? We over there, a firework that looks just like a pig. So it does. This is something pleasant, but it still really gets to me. <laughs> Bye soon, Chi Chi. Sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Lantern right. <laughs> Shinyon. Happy lantern right. I can't, I had no idea it was going to be like that. That was just absolutely beautiful. I, uh, I apologize if I'm still a little teary-eyed. I just, I had no idea that it was going to get to me so much. Uh, Tsubaki and thawing snow. The Kamisato clan's future. The duties of the Yashiro Commission. My brother should not bear these burdens alone. Ayaka! And Ayato! This belief is what has led me to this duel. Duel? Check! <laughs> when the Tsubaki is in season, I always have the same dream. What dream? My mother is with me. Oh. And I am at peace. Maybe somewhere deep down inside, the carefree days of family time have not ended for me. That's so sad. But just as flowers wither, I too must awaken from my dream. What's happening? The Kamisato art of Tachijutsu, still like the morning dew, swift like lightning. Yo. She's coming into her own. Something stirs within me. Perhaps the echo of a fond dream. But there it stays, day after day. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Wow! Pushing me to overcome. 
This is incredible! No way! And tempering my blade. Did she defeat her brother? Is she stronger than Ayato? That was the first time I bested brother in a duel. It was also the moment that the Shirasagi Himegimi was born. Wow. It's showtime, Ayaka. Uh. The fireworks have started. Everyone's waiting for you. Ayato. <laughs> it was your wish to take over this side of things, if I recall. Uh, sorry, Ayato. Oh. We pray to our God. May all our dreams endure forever. Narukami Island. Let the festival begin. Wow. I can't wait to experience Ayaka's story. I really love these story trailers. It really is just enough story for you to start understanding the characters and their backgrounds more without revealing any major spoilers. So I'm trying to make sure that I am very careful with what I watch until I have actually experienced these moments in the game. Only old memories remain. Minogius. Mm, where have you been? <sighs> Brother Yakshai, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? What? You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> it's a good question. Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. Wait, is he one of the Yaksha? Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. Uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. What seal? The seal. Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <laughs> <sighs> you know, today I saw my family down here. Clearest day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now, too? Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave Zhongzhou up on the surface. I obviously... <sighs> of course I want to go home. I must have... family, too. This is sad. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters. Yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. No. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. He didn't die. Alatus, is that you? Alatus. Alatus. Your memory's going again. That's Shao, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look, there's someone over there. Who are they? They're... They're my... My... Whoa! Remember now, I know you. <laughs> Yo, so that's what they look like? Wow! My brothers and sisters have come for me, boy. They look so cool. You're, you're awake. At least, at least tell me your name. Brother, 
another Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. I... I am Bosatius. Bosatius. And my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. What do you mean? The ultimate sacrifice. What was that? No, 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 no. This story teaser was major. Are you telling me that I get to learn more about the Yaksha? I have recently just experienced Shao's story quest for the first time, or at least act one of it. Oh my gosh. Perilous Trail event cutscene animation. Stars align, bestow your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, Numa surge. By dictum divine, heed these words. What is Elon Do doing? Command. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. The fantastic compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level and we may stand a chance. <gasps> what I is Kuki and Ito doing floor. there? Understood. Everyone, stand back. What's happening? I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yaksha's, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, falling in! Whoa! What's happening? Are those souls? Watch out! Yo! Whoa! Song Lee! This trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. Hmm. I'm so confused on why Kuki and Ito are there. What is happening? <laughs> Dang, Yulon! Yanfei too!
What did I just witness? Oh man. I'm going to assume that that was the end of the Perilous Trail event, which I have not finished yet. I still want to know why that happened and what led us to that point and why Kuki and Ito showed up. So what was your reaction when you witnessed that moment? Golden Midsummer. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. I love Kazuha. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. Wait a second. Was that Shinyon? No. Was that Shinyon's mother? <laughs> Music. <laughs> Yo. You lived here in the past. I hope you liked this song. One stormy night, Whoa. a girl found a way to the future in the library. Huh? What is happening? Who she was that? said to herself, I shall create my dream kingdom. I'll carve mountains and oceans second. and erect castles and towns. Fischl? Then she spoke to those who shared her dream. Please be proud of all that is unreal, for we are greater than this world. For our magnificent kingdom is a small and forbidden paradise. Wow. There was a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. Aww. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. What? Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. Wow! It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night, to sail through the this seas makes me think of the guidance of the stars. It was born Whoa. in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It is never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. What? That was really cool. I felt like we got hit with a lot of information in that video. I still need to process it. What was your reaction? Dance of Sub Zerzu? <laughs> it's Nilo! Makes sense. Video did say dance. The wait is over, everyone. I dedicate this to our god. The dance of Sub Zerus. What? Her dance makes me think of contemporary dancing. This music. Wow. Wait a second. What's happening? It looks like the world is disappearing. Why is he sad? I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. What's going on? Who was it? What? Who was that?
wow. I feel sad and I don't know what's going on. I hadn't experienced that moment just yet. Tale of the Five Kaizen? Long ago, Inazuma Whoa. had five legendary poets. People bestowed upon them the title of the Five Kasen. Kasen? One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. Fenty. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was <laughs> intoxicated. Who? That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic that looks measures a lot to like retrieve Shincho. the page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. Akahito. Akahito had once belonged to the five Kasen. Each poem he composed, he marked with a scarlet red seal, hence the Aka in his name. Wow. Such a distinguished writer was he, and yet one of the poems he had submitted the previous year was found to be plagiarized. What? Akahito was exiled for his crimes, and only four of the five Kasen remained. Wow. Sumizome went over Akihito's poems and noticed that the plagiarized poem lacked his seal. She immersed his poetry in a stream nearby, and only on the plagiarized poem did the ink run. Aoi no Okina passed by and witnessed Sumizome's doing, which he then recorded in a poem. What? Thus transpired the events of Suiko's poetry submission. And this is where the story comes to an end. Wow. Man, I have so many questions. I'm gonna have to rewatch these because there's so much that they provide. A Winter Night's Lazo. Chess pieces. The sages think themselves to be all knowing. Who is that? We alone are wise to the virtue in those acts of folly. Who is that? In this war, not even a single pawn may be spared. This makes me think because of Kingdom Hearts 3. This chessboard, checkmate is not where the game ends. Um, who is that? We are gathered here today to remember our dear comrade. In honor of her sacrifice, all work should halt for half a day as the nation mourns her passing. <laughs> Merely half a day? People say the Northland Bank's true currencies are blood and Who tears. is that? But Mayor, even speaking as a banker, that sounds a little unconscionable. Rosaline died in a foreign land. But you heartless businessmen and dignitaries, always with a convenient excuse to remain in the comfort of your homeland, you couldn't hope to understand. So why don't you keep your mouths shut? Who are Everyone these people? The children cry. <laughs> hey, come on now. Even I don't think this is the right time. They're the Fatui Harbingers? What? <laughs> Utterly risible. Though her methods tarnished her honor, Loafalta's sacrifice is a great pity. Her loss shall not hinder our progress. But Dottori, what of Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma? What? Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. After conquering the divine gaze, he will make his next move. It's time to end tonight's foolish theatrics. Right now, you have no captive audience. Let every worthy sacrifice be carved in ice. 
Oh my gosh! Sure for all time. In the name of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, we will seize authority from the gods. Oh my gosh, this is incredible! Absolute peace. Such is the gift from the Tsaritsa, such is Her Majesty's benevolence. Now you rest in this coffin, encased in layer upon layer of ice. Ah, but Rosaline, I promise you, your final resting place will be the entirety of the old world. It took me the entire trailer to realize they were talking about La Signora. I must say, you're looking very young today, Doctor. You know very well that I do not take that as a compliment. So, where's the segment in the prime of his life, then? <laughs> what? He's busy with a little experiment in blasphemy. <laughs> Coley! What? Uh, okay, Master Tainari. Tainari? Oh, is that how you what pronounce his name? That? What was that? That was insane. That was the most insane trailer I've seen thus far. Lost legacies in the sand. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. Oh no. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Uh. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. That looks like Nahida, but the older. Priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. What? I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, Sino? The sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. What? How strange. It was Nahida! Now that I think, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. What? Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. Unbelievable. What on earth? Are we going to get to see Nahida all grown up at some point? This is insane. The Divine Will. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. My fury? The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My is this mother. Skarmish? My mother? Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me, and I was discarded. 
The second what? was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. What? The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. That looks like I'll hate them. But as a child. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. No way. Oh my gosh. So the wanderer is right in sun? What the heck? Of ballads and brews event cutscene animation, the wind returns for the fair brew. <gasps> Razor, Klee, Venti, Bennett, the Traveler, Pyman. This is so pleasant. Klee, listen. What? Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> Take this, crush it. And place it on the fracture. Huh? Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. Kaya! This is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. <laughs> Who is speaking to Kaya? Good, very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. What? <sighs> ah, after all the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. Are those Razor's parents? <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Razor! Razor! Come on! <laughs> oh, that was so wholesome! Good for Razor. That was just beautiful. I wasn't ready for that. I love Razor so much. The first Sage of Booer? Travel. What? Is that a custom? Cheese and rice. Oh my gosh! No way. Oh no! What? What is happening? <laughs> Nahida! No! No! <laughs> oh! 
Are you this serious? This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. What? Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? Uh, oh no! <laughs> Did he just kill you here? The data collection is almost complete. Huh? Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? What? <sighs> What is happening? We just concluded the 168th loop. What? Did you know that in the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles? The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? <gasps> what is that? <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? <laughs> Come, traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. What? <sighs> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. Huh? I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them... to help you find a way to defeat the false god. The false god. Now, all of Sumeru's wisdom is at your disposal. <laughs> Meaningless tricks won't save you. This is insane! What? Oh my gosh! Did he just predict? No way! <laughs> Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A the boy. first sage? No way! What on earth was that video? That was absolutely insane! Oh, I have to play more. A dream of falling branches. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch. What? And finally snap off the most important leaf. Once oh. upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Oh no. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness.
I'm just so sad. The music. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Wait a second. What? Goodbye, people of Sumeru. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. What? What? What do you mean goodbye? Please don't tell me we're gonna lose Nahida! Akitsu Haniasobi? It's said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? What the uh, heck? Pain. Who's that? The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. Ah. This is our festival, and the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ah, then join us. We can enjoy tonight's festivities together. <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me. Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. The samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. They okay. met again ten years later and remained friends. They spent time together drinking, traveling, and sparring. When they had first met, they merely respected each other. But ten years later, they became best friends. After another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship and won their duel by a narrow march. Wow. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and began training to become stronger for their next duel. Wow. However, another ten years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As what? it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. Oh no. Kamai was unconcerned, because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. But when they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and no. scars covering his body. Hey, old friend. Can you still wield the sword? I'm getting too old to fight. This time, I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? Alright. The samurai gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. No. After putting down his agoita, Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> what a shame. What? That's how that ends? What on earth? What is that from? Who was that samurai? Echoes of the heart. In times gone by, one quarreled oft with Guizhong concerning mechanical principles. We each had our ideals, and neither would yield. 
Under the pretext of a social gathering, one invited the impartial Rex Lapis to judge the quality of our creations. Songli! But Rex Lapis declared that Gui Zhang's obscuro vulpus mechanism was superior. Huh. Wow. Though one was too proud to acknowledge it, in one's heart, one knew that Gui Zhang was indeed the superior talent in the mechanical arts. As for the story between Gui Zhang and Streetward Rambler, that begins with a certain bell. In Gui Zhang's opinion, while mechanisms were no substitute for human composers, they were yet capable of producing simple but fine melodies. But Streetward Rambler believed music to be an expression of the soul. Wow. An emotional enterprise that could never hope to be replicated by machinery. They argued endlessly, until one asked Rex Lapis to intercede. He confiscated the bell and designated it for ceremonial use. Wow. Thereafter, one would often find them convening in the mountains, discussing music, mechanics, and all the affairs of the mortal world. Aww. But these good times were not to last. War broke out between the gods, and soon engulfed the Guili Plains. Gui Zhang was overpowered by the enemy and fell in battle. No. When Streetwood Rambler and I arrived at the scene at long last. All that remained among the ruins was her lifeless body. After this, at Streetwood Rambler's request, Rex Lapis granted her the cleansing bell for safekeeping. To honor our friend's memory, one made a few finishing touches to her ballistic device. That's so many sad. Many winter nights have passed since then. Many greetings and goodbyes. Upon what do you gaze? The Gwaili Plains? No. It's... everything. We think of human life as like a lantern that's lit one minute and extinguished the next. But are we adepti so different? Perhaps as dust settles after a storm, we too must one day return to the world below. Wow. Leeway's story is just absolutely beautiful. The Exquisite Night Chimes cutscene animation. The brilliant banquet of music. Oh, there's Xin Yan in Hu Tao. I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Xin Yan. This is Hu Tao. And this is a little something called. <laughs> Yun Jin. Whoa! The Bleed Lilies! What? Uh. Xingling! Chongyun! Xingcho! I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight sky. <laughs> Lighting up the hey. world below. And when the crowds all hear my voice, they'll meet the spirit of rock and roll. This is pretty cool. Hey, you butterfly. You too, fuzz and bite. Got in your way to the after. She's a rapper? In the path without a fright. Oh, I'll write the fire, watch it blaze across the universe. Spit my rhymes, watch your step, or you'll get back. Yo, she spit her rhymes. Woo! What? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That was awesome. <gasps> Ning Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Hmm. My treat. Interested? The Tian Xuan footing the bill? I can't miss out on that. <laughs> Wow. Hey, it's Baishu and Chi Chi. Huh? Uh... Xiao.
song lady. May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. Shenha! Master, the Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liyue Harbor to display its magnificence for all. There is something incredibly magical about Genshin Impact. The videos that stood out to me were Ayaka's video because we got to see what it was like for her growing up and how she trained with her older brother Ayato and then she finally became strong enough to defeat him in a duel. The loss of her mother and how she would dream about her all the time was just heartbreaking. And then I absolutely loved the story teaser Only Old Memories Remain which allowed us to learn more about the Yaksha to see what the Yaksha looked like and to find out that I believe his name was Boracious. Apologies if I mispronounced it. He said his fate was to become the ultimate sacrifice. Well, what does that mean? I know that Xiao is the last one alive, at least if I understood correctly. So I can't wait to learn more about the story of the Akshas. And then Zhao's cutscene, a moment of life or death from the Perilous Trail event, which I have not yet experienced. That was insane. And I thought that we were about to lose Zhao. And I still don't know why Ito and Kuki were there. So I cannot wait to jump back into the game and experience more of the prerequisite quest to finally experience a Perilous Trail event. A Winter Night's Lazo. Oh my gosh. This has to be the biggest one for me. I got to see the other Fatui Harbingers and it took me till the end of the video to realize who they were. I had no idea that they were talking about Signora. Now that I think about it, the beginning of the video shows her pyro butterflies. So they were honoring her passing from when she fell to Raiden and the Inazuma Archon quest. Absolutely insane. The cutscene animation, first Sage of Boer, I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, that was also insane. I learned a lot more about Nahida than I wanted to if I'm being completely honest. It seems like the story of Sumeru is going to be absolutely incredible so I cannot wait to get to Sumeru to fill in the gaps to learn more about Nahida in this dream world of ballads and brews. The wind returns for the fair brew. That was absolutely emotional. Razor was the first character that I thought I was going to main and the only reason why I haven't once I got to Inazuma was because I acquired Beto and really fell in love with Beto's playstyle, but I recently acquired more constellations for Razor, so I think I'm going to go full circle and I'm going to start using Razor again. Being able to see his parents was just amazing. I honestly felt like I enjoyed every single one of these videos. I can't wait to experience more. Tell me, what were your reactions when you watched these videos? Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.